The Title Designer gives you the ability to create fully animated 3D titles and overlays from scratch. Edit any existing template by expanding the library, selecting Project Templates from the drop-down, and navigating to your desired template. These templates can range anywhere from Facebook comments, to streaming donation alerts, or even main titles for use in video editing. Each template serves a different purpose and derives its data from different sources, each of which we will go over later in this series. It is also possible to forego the use of a template and start a new title completely from scratch. The first step in creating a new title is adding a new element. Add new text to your design by clicking the Add Text button above the workspace. Edit your text by double-clicking on the text element. This will take you into text editing mode where you can type in your desired text, as well as modify individually highlighted regions of text. Use the same method to add new shapes to your design and modify them in 2D or 3D space using the handlebars that appear when the element is selected. Much of the customization available through the Title Designer is done with style layers. Every new element comes with a blank white face layer automatically applied. You can adjust this style layer to make quick changes to your elements, such as changing their color, applying a color gradient, or selecting an image or video. You can also add new style layers, giving you access to options such as drop shadows, outlines, overlaid faces, and more. Each style layer has an applicable set of controls such as opacity, extrusion, and beveling for 3D faces, blur and offset for drop shadows, and more. Each style layer can be minimized, hidden, or deleted from within the style tab. Much of the customization available through the title designer is done with style layers. Each style layer in your design has the option to be turned into a variable. A variable is any object that can be changed from a source outside of the title designer. The same process can be used to make text editable by navigating to the global tab and clicking the text variable box. When creating a variable for use with Titler Live, you can select a source to drive data to the variable. For example, selecting Social Pro allows you to select from a variety of inputs for your text. By selecting Name, the commenter's name will take place of the text in the title designer. Repeat the same process for things like Profile Picture, Date, and Time to drive real comments from Facebook into your title design. Keep in mind that when using data-driven variables, it may be necessary to sign into your account or enter a video URL from within the Tidler Live interface. The timeline below the workspace is where you can control the animations and layering for your design. Click and drag an object's handlebars to make it shorter or longer, and drag the object around the timeline to make it play in earlier or later as well as shift it up and down to layer it in front of or behind other objects. To make an entire title last longer or shorter, simply enter a new value into the duration field labeled Tidler. Keep in mind that when setting a new duration for your project, each of your elements will need to be lengthened or shortened to account for the difference in duration. When using Tidler Pro from within video editing software, the NLE field to the right will represent how long the Tidler Pro event appears on the software's timeline. The colored regions above the timeline are the subsections of the Elastic Timeline, a feature unique to Tidler Pro that makes animating your titles easy. We will cover animations in a later module, but for now we can apply basic animations by dragging them from the library and adjusting their length using the handlebars in the timeline. The start region usually represents the intro period, where you will want to contain the intro animations for your design. 
The middle usually represents the resting state of your design. This is where you will want your image to be mostly static or utilize a looping animation. If a title ever lasts longer than its overall duration, for example during a live broadcast while it's waiting to play out, the playhead will come to rest at the end of the middle region until the title has received the signal to play out. The end portion of the elastic timeline usually represents the outro period of your design. It is also possible to create multiple elastic regions using the plus button at the top left of the timeline. These regions represent multiple phases of your design that your title can transition between. The context menu that appears when you right click on an object in the timeline gives you a variety of options such as grouping, aligning, and renaming, and the eye icon on the left of the timeline lets you hide individual layers. Objects in Titler Pro can be easily animated through use of the library. Just expand the library, select Transitions from the drop-down, and navigate to the animation of your choosing. You can preview each animation by mousing over it in the library, and apply it by double-clicking or dragging it to the timeline. Dragging an animation to the beginning of an event sets it as an intro animation, and dragging it to the end of an event sets it as an outro animation. Each transition can be customized from within the Transitions tab, and can be lengthened or shortened by dragging its handlebars in the timeline. The same process can be used to apply effects to your element. Much like style layers, the attributes of a transition or effect can be modified in the corresponding tabs on the left. In addition to the animation library, Titler Pro comes with the option to create keyframed animations. Check the keyframing box in the global tab and click the plus button to create a new keyframe at the playhead's position on the timeline. When a new keyframe is created, you can transform the object using the handlebars or the controls in the global tab. Like keyframing in other programs, Titler Pro will automatically animate the difference between attributes between the two keyframes. Finally, you can use the loop feature to allow an animation to continually loop a predetermined portion of the timeline in seconds so that it will loop that region until it receives the signal to play out. This is a useful tool in both broadcasting and video editing, as it allows you to change a title's duration without affecting its playback speed or the length of its transitions. The workspace is where you spend most of your time working in Titler Pro. This tutorial will walk you through the key features of the workspace in order to maximize your skill set with Titler Pro. When transforming an object, Controls for rotating the object in 2D and 3D space appear at the top right of the object. The handlebars allow you to resize the object. Holding Alt while resizing prevents the opposite corner from locking in place during transformation, and holding Shift enables reverse aspect control of the object during transformation. Duplicate any object by holding Command or Control and left-clicking and dragging the mouse. You can also click through any object by holding Alt and left clicking. These are just some of the useful hotkeys in Titler Pro. You can find more under the Help Shortcuts menu option. The Grid, Ruler, and Safe Space markers can all be toggled on the top right, and the Safe Margins can be customized in the View dropdown. The fields on the bottom right of your workspace display the total duration of your title. The Titler field displays the length of the timeline in Titler Pro, and the NLE field displays how long the title appears in your video editing software. Also found around the workspace are the Magnification dropdown, the Still Title toggle, which removes the timeline and any animation options, and the Design Lock, which prevents you from making any changes to your title except for text. If you ever need to make changes to multiple elements of your title, you can select them with the lasso by left-clicking and dragging an empty spot in the workspace or the timeline. And of course, the delete key deletes any selected object. Finally, you can change the color of the interface from the skins option under the view menu, as well as the background color of the workspace from the background option.
One of the more useful features of Titler Pro is the ability to create fast and easy text rolls commonly associated with credit sequences. To create your credit roll from scratch, add a text element, and then enter your credits by manually typing or copying them over. Use the text controls in the style tab to format the text to your liking and adjust the text style just like any other object. This is also a good time to utilize the sub-selection feature of Titler Pro by double-clicking any of the text in your object and highlighting it, allowing you to format and edit that text separately from the other text. Like every other object in Titler Pro, you can modify the location and scale of your text in 2D or 3D space by using the handles or from within the global tab. With the text properly formatted, it's time to add the animation by opening the library selecting Effects, Animations, Roll and Crawl. As with anything in the library, you can mouse over each individual effect to see it previewed in the workspace. Roll medium looks to be a good speed, so we'll apply it by double clicking. If the speed of the roll isn't perfect, you can fine tune it in the effects settings. You may also find that your title duration is too short for most credits, so you can expand it by typing a new value into the titler field and expanding the event on the timeline. Of course, most credit sequences include multiple paragraphs. Add another paragraph with the same formatting by right-clicking on the object and selecting Duplicate. It may be useful to hide your old paragraph for now. Copy over your new text, unhide the old paragraph, and drag the new paragraph on the timeline until it lines up with the previous paragraph in the workspace. Utilizing this process, every element of your credit sequence will roll at the same speed, regardless of text amount or event duration. Titler Pro gives you the ability to import files of various formats for easy animation or editing within Titler Pro. Import a plain image or video by selecting the corresponding import option from the file dropdown. This process operates the same way as creating a new object and setting the image as its style layer, except that it retains the original file's dimensions. You can also use the import feature to import both PSD and vector files from Adobe products. Unlike importing flat images or videos, these imports categorize each layer of the file as a separate entity, which can be subselected by double-clicking on the element. In addition to allowing you to make quick changes to the design from within the Titler Pro interface, this process also makes the animating of logos and complicated files as easy as double-clicking on an animation in the library. You can also import any other Titler Pro file and each element of the project will be added on top of your current design. Finally, you can export your current design to a project zip package which will bundle your design with all of the necessary assets, such as font and textures, and then import the project package to continue your design from any computer running Titler Pro. If you have both Titler Live and Titler Pro installed on the same machine, there is no need for importing or exporting. Simply save the design in your current program and it can be opened in the other.